to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I want to let you know that I really honor you for giving yourself this time to slow down and connect to the best part of who you are. I know that's not always an easy thing to do, and I hope you're sipping some tea because I know that for myself, it all started with tea. When I studied the Japanese tea ceremony in Japan, I sipped a lot of tea, as you can imagine, and tea was really what slowed me down. Not much else did before I started sipping tea. So sometimes it just starts with a cup of tea to slow you down because it can take a little while to experience what stillness feels like in your body. So go easy with yourself, give yourself lots of time and just start to notice within your body when you experience stillness and go deeper and deeper into that. Notice that throughout your day. That's what I like to share with you in these meditations. It's always to honor how you're feeling at the exact moment in time because you're meditating for your life. You're not meditating for your time sitting on your meditation pillow. You're meditating for the whole rest of your life. So that's why I like to share different kinds of dynamic and engaging techniques with you every day at the Daily Meditation Podcast so that you can use these techniques throughout your day. So the theme this week that we focus on every week, we focus on a different theme and we use different techniques throughout the week to help you explore that theme on a deeper level. Well, this week, the theme is a big one. It's the double-edged sword of fear and anxiety that can hold you back and stop you in your tracks and keep you from being who you are, the best part of who you are. So we want to move you past that fear and anxiety. And today is a special day at Sip and Om on Fridays is the culmination of all the different meditation techniques you've learned throughout the week. And in honor of tea, I encourage you to explore a different herb each week. This week's herb is passion flower. Now, as always, with anything you sip, it's important to make sure that you're not going to have any kind of reactions to the herb because herbs are powerful. And I'll tell you what, I had a reaction to, of all things, peppermint tea. So you really never know what you're going to have a reaction to, but check with your doctor if you're taking any medications and maybe research the herb a little bit on your own before you take it. And as you sip it, really pay attention to how you feel because I want you to be feeling great. I don't want you to be having any kind of reaction. And you never know how you feel until you actually explore and experience it on your own. So I'm going to share actually two teas with you this week. You can mix them together or sip them separately. I do both. This week I happen to be mixing them together and it's chamomile and passion flower tea. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with chamomile, but passion flower may be new for you. And Certain herbs become a little more potent when they're paired together. So chamomile and passionflower herbs are good friends. They go well together. And they especially go well to help you sleep better. That's always a great benefit, especially if you're feeling anxiety and fear. Sometimes it's hard to sleep. So for those nights when you just can't seem to fall asleep, Chamomile helps relax you, and it's also been known to help relieve anxiety. And passionflower does the same thing. Passionflower is particularly targeted. Let me say that again. Passionflower is particularly targeted to helping you relieve anxiety. So it's an herb you might not be so familiar with sipping comes from Peru and has been associated, as I mentioned, with reducing anxiety. And 
The combination of chamomile and passion flower is a potent sleep inducer. It's a simple recipe to put together and I usually order my passion flower online, but recently I've seen it on the shelves of even my local organic health food store. So you may be able to pick it up near a health food store near you. So I encourage you to check out at sipandome.com today's meditation in episode number 34, the slow down guide with all the techniques this week and a recipe for passion flower and chamomile tea. So go ahead and sit down comfortably, whether you're in a chair or on the floor. I recommend propping yourself up with pillows. Pillows can become your best friend when you meditate. Prop a pillow under each knee, takes the pressure right off your legs and your ankles. I used to stagger when I got up from meditating before I learned this trick with pillows. My legs would fall asleep even after 15 minutes. and. You know that tingling feeling you get when your feet fall asleep? Well, that's what would happen to me every time I would sit down on the floor and meditate until I finally started using pillows and now I have no problems at all with that. Prop a pillow under your hips to roll your hips a little forward and that also takes the pressure off your back. And if you're sitting in a chair, prop a few pillows under your feet because that also supports your legs and takes pressure off your back and put a pillow behind your back even if you're sitting in a chair. Relax your whole face. Your eyes are gently closed and lifted upward to lift up your thoughts. Your shoulders, maybe they're feeling tight like mine are these days. Release them. Feel the tension drain off them. Start to notice your stomach, inhale and exhale. Feel your abdomen rise up as you inhale and go back down as you exhale, letting it all hang out. No more trying to look trim. You want to reduce anxiety, so start letting your stomach hang out and be relaxed. You'll notice a difference in your mood right away. So you're inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Start to notice your breath and if you've been with me for a while, notice exactly how you're feeling at this moment and honor it. Don't try to change it, go with it and honor how you're feeling. Now I want you to Repeat the affirmation this week, which is a longer one than usual, but it's a good one for you to use when you're really trying to focus. So here we go. Sit up straight, straight spine, relax your body, eyes gently lifted, and repeat with me out loud or silently to yourself. The more you put into it, the more you get out of it. I am safe. I am sound. All good things come to me. They bring me peace. I am safe. I am sound. All good things come to me. They bring me peace. Mentally repeat this to yourself. I am safe. I am sound. All good things come to me. They bring me peace. Notice how you feel in your body. Inhale and exhale. You can hold your hands in this week's mudra. It's a pretty simple one. You can always refer to the weekly slow down guide at sipanome.com to see a picture of me doing it. This is a mudra to be receptive to moving past and shifting so, so moving past fear and shifting out of anxiety, you're going to put your hands on your lap, on your thighs, 
and your, your, all your fingers should be touching, so you're using both hands. All your fingers should be closed, close together, touching, including your thumb should be right next to your index finger. And your hands are placed upward with, with your palms upward. And this is almost as if you're holding a bowl in your hands. Or maybe a bouquet of flowers. And notice how you feel as you do this mudra. It helps support you by being receptive to moving out of fear and anxiety. So you can do this mudra as we do the meditation, or you can simply place your hands on your lap however you most feel comfortable. And let's go through the breathing technique. Before we do the breathing technique, I want to have you focus on your third chakra, which is right at your navel, at your stomach, where all your digestion takes place. This is where your fire of life is. Chakras are simply a system where you hold all the emotions you've ever experienced. So the ancient yogis thought that just as we have a physical spine, we also have an emotional center, seven centers, where all of the different emotions we've experienced, they don't just vanish, they stay with us. You know that. That's what may be causing many of your fears and some of your anxiety. So when you tap into your third chakra at your navel, you may be experiencing different emotions coming up, different fears and anxieties. Maybe some you've forgotten. You're going to be processing some of that, and that's normal. Or maybe you don't really experience much at all. Just be open and receptive to whatever you do experience. So you can surround that area in the color yellow. So this is where your zest for life and all your passion and fire reside. And we'll go ahead and start the breathing technique. This technique, I'd like you to place your hands, take them out of the mudra for a minute and place them on your belly. Or you can keep them in the mudra if you're really feeling like this mudra is benefiting you. Sometimes mudras are so powerful, I feel the results immediately. So you may want to keep your hands in the mudra position. This is a mudra you can do several times a day for five minutes each. Or you can place your hands on your belly and start to notice yourself as you inhale deeply and exhale deeply. I want you to start moving deeper into your inhale and your exhale. We'll do it together for a few rounds. Inhale to the count of two, deeply, and hold it for about the count of two. And exhale deeply to the count of two. Notice how you feel. Inhale and exhale through your nose. Let's move that up a notch. If you're feeling any discomfort, simply go back to breathing how you do normally. Inhale to the count of four the deep long breath hold it and now exhale to the count of four with a deep long breath when you inhale and exhale you should feel your stomach rise up as you inhale and gently fall back down as you exhale now let's increase this to the count of six Notice yourself going deeper and deeper into your breath as you do this. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Notice how you feel. 
Continue inhaling and exhaling with your breath going deeper and deeper, always releasing discomfort. Never hold your breath to where it's painful or you feel tension. You want to be releasing tension. So continue with this meditation and please head over to iTunes, the Daily Meditation Podcast, or you can find the link to this on the blog post at the website when you go pick up the weekly meditation guide. And I would love it if you would leave me a comment and a review, a rating and review, to let me know how you're enjoying the meditation. I'm always wondering how you're enjoying those meditations that I do every week, every day actually. And I'd love it if you would subscribe because that way you'll receive these meditations every day. You, and it's so important to have consistency when you meditate. So I want to make sure that you're receiving all the support you need. Keep meditating, inhaling and exhaling, going deeper into your breath. And as you do so, feel yourself grow calmer and calmer. Continue your meditation and remember you are so worth slowing down for.